Hey Sagittarius, I hope you guys are all doing well. So this is going to be a general love reading for mid-December 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Sagittarius. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's reading. That is perfectly okay. You can check out one of your other signs if you want, or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. All right, Sagittarius, let's see. What is the overall energy for you? second half of December. All right, and we got two. We have contemplation and we also have signs. All right, okay, so somebody is getting a lot of signs, synchronicities possibly, that are making them think, all right? Contemplating. Um, I feel like even just being a little bit like um, astounded maybe by the signs and the synchronicities, could be you, could be them. We will see. <clears throat> Do keep in mind, though, that the roles can be reversed either way. So let's see. What is going on with Saggy here? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Just have the Eight of Cups um, flip over. Could be that somebody's walking away from something. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the second half of December. All right, let's see. For the situation, we have the Ace of Swords crossed by Death. Whew, okay. Uh, for you, <clears throat> we have the Empress, the King of Wands, as well as the Nine of Wands. Okay, so this is a progression from past past, present, future. And for them, we have the Lovers, the Seven of Swords, and Temperance, and the potential outcome here, we have the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so let's see what is going on here. Um, somebody knows something to be true here, all right? There's a lot of truth. There is an action that somebody really wants to take. And whatever that action is, it does require some kind of an ending here to something, maybe to a cycle, maybe to um, a particular situation, it could be another relationship, it could be a job, it could be a living situation, just anything, all right? And that is what seems to be the problem. Um, however, whoever this is, they're definitely seeing that this is something that either needs to be done and this is what is um, the challenge here. All right, so for you in the recent past, we have the Empress. I feel like, yeah, you know, there was a point in time here where you were feeling really good. Um, or, you know, maybe, I, I actually feel like you still are. Like, this is something, you know, that you have achieved, where you are just fully embodying your own your own power, right? You, you're manifesting things, you're making things happen for your own self, or just even finding your own inner fulfillment and, and abundance. Um... Because you're in the King of Wands energy now, so that's you really standing, you know, um, strong in your own element and in your own power. So still pretty much making things happen for yourself, either that or you're just determined to overcome whatever challenges are being thrown at you. And I see you continuing to do that. So I feel like whatever it is that you are dealing with, like it's not really 100% over here because you do have the Nine of Wands. But I see this as being your determination, you pushing through and being really close to whatever it is that you are trying to achieve. Um, for them, for some of them, this lovers in the recent past could be that they were involved in another situation as well. Okay, it's not going to be for everybody um, where, you know, maybe they had to make a choice. Either way, I'm seeing that there is there is love here because this is also representing their, their energy towards towards you. All right, um, we do have Scorpio showing up and we also have Gemini showing up as well as, yeah, Sagittarius, you, <laughs> in this person's um, near future energy. So, definitely feels like there was a very strong connection between you and this person. However, currently I feel like the other person here is um, kind of sneaking away from it. Keeping their distance, maybe. 
But I see them moving more towards a place of balance here and in the potential outcome we have the Eight of Pentacles, so this is a lot of focus, putting in work, putting in effort. So let's actually clarify. Let's see that Ace of Swords with Death. Alright, we have the Five of Swords, the Empress, and the Six of Swords. Yeah, okay. Because you have the Empress energy. I feel like... I feel like this is the other person's energy, actually. Um, could be you, though, okay? The, the main situation could be anybody. Somebody is really deceiving themselves, though. Almost like stubbornly wanting to just, like, why can't this Ace of Swords happen without there having to be this ending? That's what I'm getting. Whatever that Ace of Swords is for each of you, right? Something that, an action, um, truth. Something that somebody really wants to actually bring to reality with an ending but there has to be an ending for that to happen. You know, it's kind of like, well, I really want that to happen, but without that, without that ending. Almost like with the Six of Swords, like moving away from that, like kind of just avoiding it. Hmm. Let's see, let's get deeper into this. Let me see that Empress for you. All right, we have the star. Okay, yeah, so there you have done a lot of healing here, all right, and that's why you were able to find this inner empress within you. So that's good. <laughs> Let's see the king of wands for your current energy. We have the king of pentacles, the five of pentacles, and the four of wands. Okay, yeah, so it feels like you're pretty much conquering, you know, whatever it is that has happened in this connection, all right, with or within some kind of a commitment where you, you pretty much felt <clears throat> either rejected or abandoned, just kind of left out in the cold. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this person may have even ghosted you at some point. It doesn't have to be, but they may have. Either way, it's like you just kind of felt like you were just left to the side. Like this person was just not, not giving, not giving commitment to you. All right, because we have the King of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, which both talk about commitment. And then the Five of Pentacles, right smack in the middle. It's like that just didn't happen. You felt like you just were not given that. And I feel like at the moment, though, it's like you're feeling okay about that because you have healed so much. And you're just like, I'm doing my own thing here. So, yeah, let's see. Let's see what's going on with them. I feel like, yeah, so I do feel like it's this person who actually betrayed you in some way. Almost like just kind of avoiding you. Or this is just what is happening at the moment. Because they're refusing to bring about some kind of an ending to something. So let's see. Let's see the lovers for their recent past. <clears throat> we have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, that does look like it's somebody else showing up. All right, so two different groups here, all right? Um, first group, there was definitely somebody else involved here, possibly still is from the looks of it, all right, if this is your situation. Um, and this person was really torn between making making a choice here or, you know, just trying to figure out what to, what to do. This other person does not necessarily have to be a lover or a, um, a romantic partner, okay? It could even be a mother, for example. All right, so that's the one scenario. The second group here, it's just the way that this person feels about you, right? That love, that deep connection. And seeing you as, you know, the person that they, um, like you're just commitment material. 
But for whatever reason, what I'm seeing here is that they were not able to give you that. Let's see the Seven of Swords for their current energy. Alright, the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. Okay, this person's going through a lot of pain at the moment. Um, they're definitely feeling, I don't know what it is that they're trying to end here, all right, in the, in the main situation or something, but they're definitely also feeling an ending, some kind of an ending with you as well, is what I'm getting. And it's hurting them because they feel like they're just kind of turning their back to you or just kind of like sneaking away. And this is something that's not easy for them to handle, right? With the Nine of Wands and the Two of Pentacles, they're feeling very, very overloaded here. Not even knowing how to cope with their own self, basically. This person feels defeated by their own self. Like there was just some action, they wanted to take it, they didn't. Um, They may have taken an action that they didn't really want to take just for defensive purposes. And now they're kind of still stuck in that because they made that choice and so it's like they're stuck in that. And just not really able to manage it emotionally very well. I actually do get that whatever it is here if this person was trying to put an end to something I see them trying to do that as well but in a very difficult way in a very very difficult way um, and it's also creating like either pain for them or just a lot of difficulties in the process Let's see what's coming up. Let's see that Nine of Wands for you. Alright, we have the Ten of Wands and the Devil. Yeah, I feel like you're still in this, you know, you're feeling good right now about this, but it, it because that energy is still there, um, I just see you kind of continuing on the same path that you are on right now. I see you pretty much just pushing through this situation and whatever it is that has been toxic like you wanting to really release that you still it's like you still feel burdened by whatever was toxic or unhealthy between you and this person but you're still pushing through i see you still being um very strong and somehow just pushing through trying to get to that Almost like you're trying to get to this finish line of really standing in your power as that King of Wands. And I do feel like you are you are doing that. Um, but yeah, what I'm getting here is, you know, don't pressure yourself. Don't, don't, don't pressure yourself to really be this, you know, strong King of Wands where, you know, nothing touches me and I'm untouchable and, you know, everything's good. You have done a lot of healing, you have made a lot of progress, but you know, just don't have crazy expectations of yourself, all right? Because this is something, you know, that you might still be, you know, carrying a little bit and that's okay. That's okay. I feel like you have found the way to deal with it. So no need to overly pressure yourself to reach some kind of a finish line or something like that. So let's see temperance for them. for the near future. All right, the Six of Cups, the Page of Cups, and Judgment. Okay, wow. Yeah, so it's definitely, I feel like it's, um, it, you could also be the one seeing signs and, you know, contemplating, but I'm mostly seeing it as being them. Definitely seeing it as being them here. <clears throat> I mean, this is just, they're stepping into really beautiful energy coming up. All right, with uh, finding balance within themselves. Um, I see them <clears throat> just opening up emotionally here to their own emotions, to what it is that they want. I see that there is a longing here for the connection with you. Because again, it does feel like 
you know, at some point there was some kind of a connection here between the two of you. And then judgment, like, wow. With judgment, this is definitely um, getting signs. Or one big sign, right? That is really um, pushing them to think about things in a different type of a way. And I feel like that's why we then have the Eight of Pentacles, um, which is <clears throat> putting in that effort. Putting in that effort for that Ace of Swords, whatever that is. Whatever action or um, ending or transformation, transition, whatever it is that is needed here. So let's see the Eight of Pentacles. All right, we have the Five of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, pretty much putting up a fight. Um, it's not easy. Whatever this is, whatever this um, effort is that they are putting in here, it does require them um, <clears throat> to put up some kind of a fight. Um, I do see that there might be some drama um, concerning possibly a third party or a work-related situation or just some other kind of situation. <clears throat> right that's coming between you I feel like that is what this death card here is about it's about that three of pentacles whatever that is there's definitely movement all right this is action with the eight of wands so whatever effort is going to be put here from from this person because I do feel like this is them um it is moving something forward I feel like things are not staying stagnant So action, yeah, being taken here. So Sagittarius, let's see if this resonated with you. Let's get the final oracle message. <clears throat> All right, and I feel like I just saw this card. Who was it? Was it Aries or Leo? Um, I forget. All right. Do something for someone. Give your attention to another. So, I mean, this could definitely be this person, you know, now coming in and wanting to give you their energy, giving you that attention, wanting to do something for you. Um, but it can definitely be a message for you. So just take it as it as it resonates for you. All right, Sagittarius, those were the messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.